Well, when Violet died, who I've become very close to in 1982, um, there wasn't a specific female figure in their life. They had aunties and cousins, but someone to go regularly and play the mother role then. Um, so I had to go to both brothers, and that was very demanding visits. They'd come out with lists of instructions demanding what they wanted and what they wanted brought in. Um, actually, though, Reggie did propose to me. In fact, he proposed to me three times um, in front of other inmates in the prison and the guards who were all standing around smiling, saying, I want to be best man. I think they were looking for a second mother figure, someone to take care of all their laundry and all their wants and needs as they'd been when they were at home. I just needed someone to replace Violet. I hoped I did that in a little way. Well, when he first proposed to me, it was in Parkhurst Prison, um, at a table with about four people. Um, I just laughed, really. I, I just said, but you said you'd never get married again. And he said, well, I think Ron is always prompting me to get married, and if I'm going to marry anybody, it's going to be you. Um, I know you well, I trust you, I know you're loyal. Um, our mother loved you. My brothers love you, so it was the inevitable thing to do, he thought. Um, but up my mind flicked back to what happened to Frances, that she just could not cope with their um, status. And him being away from her all the time, she never had her husband to herself, uh, because Ronnie was jealous of anybody that came in touch with Reggie. Um, I was thinking of all these things, and I'm a bit bossy, um, my, obviously much stronger than Frances would have been. Um, and what a tragic thing that happened to her. A young and beautiful, vibrant girl took her own life. My second marriage had finished and um, I met a much younger man, a very handsome, blonde man called Mitchell. And I took him one day to a visit to Broadmoor and he caused quite a bit of a sensation. I think everybody thought he was a rock star. And Ronnie came out and this guy just happened to have worn a pair of tight leather trousers that day probably the wrong thing to do in front of Ronnie Cray and the time when he wanted to go to the gents and left the table um, he looked sideways and up and down he said oh god Flanagan you're a very very lucky lady and I said to him I don't want any letters written to him any innuendos no telephone calls he's straight and he's mine so leave him alone and he just laughed well, they always had a wonderful um, respect for women and that's how I come to differentiate between certain, let's say, murderers um, up against the craze who had no respect for women. Um, a perfect example is when I used to go to Broadmoor to visit and on one specific occasion um, at a nearby table was sitting um, Peter Sutcliffe and his wife sitting there reading the Bible to him. And in came Ronnie, late as usual, so that he would be looked at by everybody. And he kissed me and shook hands with the two gentlemen I was with. And then he looked, and when he saw Peter Sutcliffe, um, he asked me to get up and move. And I said, no, I'm perfectly all right here, Ronnie, I'm fine. We're sitting in a big hall with about 40 tables. It was crowded. And he said, no, please, get up and move to this. He didn't want me to be in the eye, viewing eye, of Peter Sutcliffe. And even that was a respect for, for a woman. He didn't want Peter Sutcliffe to be looking at me, or me to be looking at Sutcliffe. And same when I went to Parkhurst. I had a private visit one day with Reggie, and um, when I went into the room, Sonia was sitting there, and in 10 minutes' time in came Reggie and, and said, what's she doing here? I said, well, she's visiting her husband. He said, not today, she's not. This is a private... Um, visit I've booked and I don't want you in the same room and I certainly won't be in the same room as him. So the fact that Peter Sutcliffe had killed 13 women was totally distasteful to both twins. They couldn't understand how anybody could use any form of violence, especially murder, to a woman because it was somebody's mother, somebody's wife, someone's sister, someone's aunt. Um, that's just how they were, respectful to women and children. Thank you for watching. 
If you enjoyed the video, please join our Facebook group. It's called Praise Crime Lords of London. We're a friendly moderated group with over 1,000 Cray and other celebrated gangster videos available for view. There's also thousands of images in the photos sections. The link for the group is in the YouTube description section. I hope we see you there soon.